One of the things I've been surprised with is just how much they really are aligning almost this entire middle section of bridge. Because normally when I see them, you'll see them taking up a decent amount of space, but they're basically, like, I cannot see that top corner of the bridge in the middle section here. There's just so many of them. As humans have built up areas around cities, wildlife has done a remarkable job adapting to the new landscapes. In fact, some species even thrive in places where houses, roads, and bridges now exist. While out looking for cliff swallows, Derek and I came across a place where a bridge in its surrounding area played host to a surprising amount of birds. Hey everybody, Derek and Ryan here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're in Waukesha County looking for some cliff swallows. And uh, when we showed up at our location, we actually found a pair of sandhill cranes and they have a colt. And so even though in summer there's normally not a ton of new stuff moving around, it is nice because you do see some of these baby birds. And we're right by the Fox River, which runs right through the city of Waukesha. So there's a lot of bridges and a lot of habitat on the uh, banks of the river for birds to live. Uh, so we're going to go see what's on the river before we look for the cliff swallows. At the river, we could see numerous swallows flying around, presumably coming from the bridge. We walked the bike path underneath the road, entering a space that felt like a cave, with running water, dim lighting, and echoes bouncing off the walls. Hearing various chirps and calls, it became clear that a number of different species were living here. The first we noticed was a bird commonly found nesting in man-made structures, the barn swallow. Wow, well this barn swallow nest has at least five babies, and uh, they are very small so the parents are still coming to feed them but absolutely adorable they still have the yellow on the side of their beak. The barn swallow is a common bird across the United States in summer. They can be found foraging in open spaces and nesting on large structures such as barns and eaves of buildings. This species typically feeds while flying, picking off insects mid-air and swooping low over the water to snag hatching insects. Barn swallows need a source of mud in order to build their nests making this bridge a perfect place for the species to raise young. Since barn swallows can often be found in the same area as cliff swallows, we definitely expected them to make an appearance. After watching the barn swallow parents feed their chicks, we followed chattering noises to the other side of the bridge, where we were met with high numbers of our target bird, the cliff swallow. Cliff swallows can be found throughout most of the United States in summer, with the exception of some states in the southeast where they still migrate through. Like their name suggests, they can be found nesting in cliffs and canyons. With the expansion of humans and cities, the cliff swallow's habitat is greatly broadened due to their ability to now also use structures built by people for nesting. Cliff swallows feed on flying insects year-round and can be found living in colonies that can number in the thousands. We're here under the bridge, and it's a really unique experience to have all of this noise of the cars coming overhead, and then all of the noise of the chirping cliff swallows and barn swallows. If you look behind me, lining that bridge are all cliff swallow nests. You can tell because they're mostly a complete nest with a little hole in it so that the birds can get in and out, whereas the barn swallow nests are more cupped and will have an opening at the top, more like a traditional nest just built onto the side of a cliff, a tree, or a bridge or structure like this. And these birds are very active. They're coming in and out of the nests, bringing food to the young that they have. It's a very uh, fascinating sight to see them here in a really unique area to bird in. One of the things I've been surprised with is just how much they really are aligning almost this entire middle section of bridge. Because normally when I see them, you'll see them taking up a decent amount of space, but they're basically, like I cannot see that top corner of the bridge in the middle section here. There's just so many of them. Hey, I got I got something for you. What? Is that a pigeon under here nesting? That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Where see is that big guy? Is? Oh, right there? Yeah. I think it is. Let's get a close up of that. Oh yeah, he's got a nest too. And it's interesting how a man-made structure like this provides so much habitat for birds. And of course, pigeons is something that's done very well with humans, but the cliff swallows and the barn swallows rely on this for their nesting. So at least we benefited nature in this case.
We continued exploring the river and surrounding area. We were able to find an eastern Phoebe hanging out on the opposite bank and spied numerous house sparrows as they foraged in the cut grass. Having spent a good amount of time with the cliff swallows and other birds, we headed out into the sun and made our way back to the car. It was interesting to see how many species were making use of a structure that was never intended to become a home for birds. It goes to show just how adaptive some of these amazing creatures are. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. What'd you find? Looks aren't even rusted.